Hello everybody and welcome back to What the Health with Dr. L. Today I'm very excited to have a very, very special guest, my good friend, Jesse. He comes with a wealth of expertise in the field of health and fitness. He is also a certified personal trainer and he's going to share with us some of his deep secrets about <laughs> healthy lifestyle, uh, healthy aging and disease-free life. So uh, these are, uh, it's gonna, I'm, I'm very, very uh, excited about this opportunity and I'm just uh, gonna um, have him, uh, you know, uh, talk to you directly. Well, my appreciate for having me. Um, Absolutely. Like I said, I've, um, I've been about 20 years of fitness, um, certified personal trainer. Um, I have little clients here and there, but what I wanna kind of discuss is just, we see a lot of things that or out in social media, um, you know, out on the internet in terms of, you know, take this supplement, eat this, eat that. Right. When in reality, it's really just simple. Um, yeah. And so what I'm gonna do with the time that we have is just kind of um, break it down, kind of simple as possible, the, the, you know, the ways I've been going about it for the, I'd say for the past 20 years, um, quote, I'm coming on, well, I'm actually coming on 40 years old. And so, and I'm you are 40 years old, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, and, you put and, us to shame. <laughs> so it's, and, and, and quite honestly, this has been the you know healthiest that I've been um, I, in all my life that I can think about in terms of you know even from high school and um, going forward. And so, it's great. Um, what I want to do is just kind of break down kind of the um, the four pillars of, of active lifestyle, um, just from the most important mm -hmm. um, to the most uh, to the least important. Um, the most important thing with an active lifestyle, just lifestyle in general, will always be nutrition. Nutrition? Um, yes, nutrition. So the top factor to you yes. is nutrition. Yes. What you put in your body. Exactly. The fuel you use ex to move this machine. Exactly. And, and even if you see, you know, power lifters, bodybuilders, mm -hmm. this, that, and the third, you'll see them lifting an egregious amount of weight. <laughs> none, of, <laughs> none, of, none, of, none of that at all. I would put, no, I can't. But, um, but none of that, honestly, does nothing um, mm -hmm. without, and they will be the first to tell you that the biggest focus is their nutrition. So the most important thing hmm. um, in an active so, so it's not, you know, the time you spend at the gym, not really, at that makes not, a big difference. Not, not at all, not at all. It's, 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 it's a nutrition piece because you, you can, you know, you can lift all the weights you want, this, that, mm -hmm. and the third, and, and, and unfortunately, we've seen people in the fitness industry, mm -hmm. um, bodybuilders and powerlifters, things of that nature, that have, you know, unfortunately passed on early, and you look, look at them as like, Oh, they're a perfect, you know, perfect piece of health. Right. When in reality, you know, their nutrition was, was just was just horrendous in terms mm. of um, making sure they put the right things in their body, um, the proper rest as well. Nutrition rest also goes with nutrition as well. Uh -huh. So, and so out of the four pillars, uh, the most important is always nutrition. Okay. Um, secondary is muscular endurance. Um, you know, whether you're you know lifting weights, mm. as simple as doing push-ups at home, squats. Mm. Anything that can get your, you know, get your muscles engaged for you to yeah. build strength. That's interesting that you said that. So mm -hmm. even if you don't have time for the gym, you can do stuff at home or even at work. You it, know, it, exactly. push ups, squats. Uh, exactly, and in, yeah. in, in the primary, planks. Oh yeah, I love planks. See, <laughs> I, mean, planks. I love planks. But uh, but it's uh, and even um, a prime example, you know, even during quarantine when gyms were closed, right. um, I was, you know, at home working out. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, I was able to get some dumbbells, and mm -hmm. even if you can't get any dumbbells. Resistance bands training. Um, there's an mm. awesome way um, for you to get, you know, to keep that muscular endurance, to keep that great. Because as you get older, mm -hmm. uh, your, your, your muscles will naturally lose a little bit of strength. But if you maintain as you mm -hmm. get older, mm -hmm. it, it goes, it goes. It makes a big difference. Big, big Yeah, difference. that's how you look. <laughs> <laughs> At 40. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I lift, a, yeah. I lift my very fresh. Very, very I'm not going to lie to you. But, but, um, right. but that's the most, um, the most second port, important thing in terms of the four pillars. Um, number three would be your, ca your cardiovascular endurance. Okay. Um, you know, your running, cycling, anything that'll get the heart rate up. Okay. Um, so cardiovascular, this, that's a big word. It's this, 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 anything that gets your heart pumping. Exactly. It could be running, uh, brisk walking, exactly. swimming, uh, biking. Exactly. That's, okay. That is correct. And anything yeah. that, that'll get the, you know, the heart pumping in, in the blood. Does flow. love count? Yes, it does. It does actually. It does. It does, actually. Um, it does right. to an extent. But okay. yeah. But um. But and 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 actually, you can in certain instances, if you're say you're training for marathons, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, any kind of running events, mm -hmm. um, two and three can kind of be interchangeable. 
Um, okay. Me personally. Um, so you need to mix two and three. Yes, you do. You, yeah. you, you Muscle need, strength versus uh, cardiovascular. You can mix them, but uh -huh. um, you know, in my experience, mm -hmm. um, especially you know, with a lot of us with the lifestyle that we have, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of us are sitting at desks. Um, you know, yeah. more sedative lifestyle. Yeah. I would emphasize more on muscular endurance okay. um, than I would cardio. I mean, yes, okay. gr greatly getting your walks in, that is definitely important. Okay. Um, but for, you know, those who are into fitness, like quasi-athletes or folks who are like marathon runners, then, yeah. then of course, you know, those will change. And so, okay. but, um, but cardiovascular endurance would be, you know, the third one. And then the, mo one. the most least important thing uh -huh. out of the four pillars will always be supplements. Interesting. Interesting. That, that's that's big news to me. Yeah. It, so supplements is the least important. That is correct. And and the main reason for that is and there is no need to spend all that money on it, supplements it, at, at all. At all. And and if you think about it, the word supplement mm -hmm. is derived from you're supplementing something you should be getting naturally. Right. And so you, you know mean from food. Exactly. Exactly. From, from fruit. From fruit. Drinks. Fruit, drinks. Yeah. Exactly. And so and while you know it's it's good to to have something like me personally. Um, because I don't, I don't get enough greens. Um, I do take like one supplement in the morning in terms of like. Uh, so you do take supplements. Yes, yes, but, but it's but that's the only one. I, but, but it's targeted. Yeah, like exactly. What's what you absolutely need. Exactly. 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 For your goals, like that, that health is, goals. That is exactly. So what do you take if you want to? Um, so so one? there's so there's two supplements that I um, actually three that I take. So I'll take a um, a powdered green which gets all the um, nutrients that you get from your vegetables and fruits. I'll take that in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, along with my um, protein shake. Now I, I do a okay. I do a pea um, uh, pea protein is what I do. Okay. Um, and the main reason for that is with um, most on the market, what you'll see will be whey protein. Right. And it's all milk based, and um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm lactose intolerant, and so you are. Yes. So okay. so and then which is you know it's really heavy in the, in the African American community, but by the way, but it, but the pea protein um, helps in terms of giving me that additional protein. Um, that I need because my focus in fitness is, is powerlifting. So that's my my main focus is having mm -hmm. a good thing. And so and so and then I'll also take about five grams, which is just a small little bit of creatine because that helps with the muscle right. muscle rebuilding. That's yeah. And so and so but 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 with creatine you can actually get that naturally from red meats as well. And because um, right. that's where a lot of folks individuals will get their creatine from if they don't do it, you know. And I, and also with creatine, not just any creatine. Monohydrate creatine is the one. Mm -hmm. If you're going to use creatine, that's the that is the supplement that you want, and it's only small dose of day that you'll even need. And so, so you don't have to go crazy. Not at all. all not, not at all. And so, and so those so, so those the greens, uh, the creatine, and the protein. Those are my those are the, literally the three that I only take. And and like you had okay. mentioned previously, it's expensive. Yes. Um, to to keep up with a yeah, whole bunch of, of supplements, and then it's yeah. not FDA approved, and then. And you got to look at it from the so standpoint. That, that, that means that we don't really know whether you know these supplements exactly. really work or not. Because, exactly. you know, they, you know, they, they have a different you yeah. know, mechanism and, and all that. And they do. And they do. And, and I've seen it historically where um, a lot of supplements have been pulled off the shelves because um, people were getting a lot of um, allergic reaction to it. Like the biggest thing in the fitness industry mm -hmm. Um, or pre-workouts, which mm -hmm. in essence, all pre-workout is a whole bunch of caffeine and some stuff that makes it taste good. And, and, right. and, I, and I've had some from time to time, um, but with those, you have to be careful mm -hmm. um, because everybody's body's different. And right. so you might get a certain reaction to that, um, that, you know, I, I remember when, um, uh, when I, um, I think it was a couple of years ago, because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in the military as well. So um, a couple of years nice. ago, a couple of years ago, um, I went and got a checkup and things. I nature my blood pressure was high. And they were like, why is your blood pressure high? Like, mm. You know, at the time I was like 24. And they're like, I don't mm. know why. Well, come to find out, it was the supplement that I was taking at the time. Mm. That was, um, it was a whole bunch of caffeine, which mm -hmm. caffeine is good naturally for yeah. focus. Um, right. that, that's really good. But there's some other stuff in there. Yeah. Um, so you need to be careful about the ingredients exactly. of the supplement you're taking. Exactly. And of course, we're, we're talking mainly about people who are interested in maintaining a yes. fit lifestyle. Exactly. Okay. But uh, if, if people know that they are deficient in a certain supplement, mm -hmm. uh, like vitamin D, for instance, yeah, exactly. or magnesium, you know, that's okay to uh, yeah. get it from supplements. Just make sure that you're getting it from a good source. Exactly. Okay. And, and, and that's exactly. And, okay. And so, so if you want to end with, let's let's emphasize on the the biggest advice you would give as to nutrition. What 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 what, what would you like to leave you know our audience with? I would say the biggest thing that I would like to leave with y'all is is it's a mindset. Um, everything that we do in life has a mindset, and with with that, you just need to figure out, you know. 
what's your goal? You know, what's your instinct? Um, is it you want to stay fit because, you know, you want to have an appearance, which is fine. I mean, people do it at vanity. People do it all the time. Um, you know, or is it, you know, you have children. Like, I have, I have two sons. Um, my biggest focus is being able to maintain, be fit, because I have a six-year-old that likes to climb on me like a monkey. And yeah. so, and so, I want to make sure that I'm I'm physically fit and that I'm right. maintaining. And so, I would say my, your mindset, just just, mindset. Figure, just just figuring out what do you want to do, mm -hmm. and and it's trial and, and patience. And I would also say patience okay. is a big thing. A lot of and I, you see a lot of what a lot of people in society is that um, they want the quick fix thing. They they don't want to practice patience. They just want to like I want it, you know this that and third. They I just want to do it here and I want to get it done. And there's a market for it as we all can see in right. terms of you know. You know, yeah, I drink this here and you'll lose weight in 20 days. Right. That's unhealthy. Yeah. That the body is never going no to go quick through. Fit. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. No so, quick fix for, you know, important. No, exactly. And so, yeah. and so I would say just mindset and patience is just figure, yeah. figuring out, you know, what do you want to get out of it? I mean, what, what, yeah. is, what is important to you? And then, you know, once you do that, you know, I would look at the four pillars with the nutrition. And the nutrition is, is very... It's more simple than what people make it, make it seem to be. They make it seem like it's just this big old... You know, I need to eat this, these, this, that. There's really just three things to it. It's you know, getting your protein. Uh -huh. You know, getting your um, your carbohydrates and uh -huh. getting your vegetables. I mean, okay. the pro the protein is as simple as you know, chicken, beef, um, mm -hmm. just the simple things. And then mm -hmm. with the carbs, you know, sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. um, rice, mm -hmm. um, chickpeas, just mm -hmm. just just simple things. And then mm -hmm. of course the vegetable the vegetable piece as well. Mm -hmm. And fresh vegetables. Yeah, yeah, fresh vegetables. Um, I, I do. I would say a good cheat code because I know um. It's hard to come by fresh vegetables. Like me personally, mm -hmm. I'll get the frozen vegetables, big bag of frozen vegetables at the um, at the grocery store. Uh -huh. Excellent, excellent. You know, yeah. if you just can't get the fresh ones, that's an excellent way um, right. to, to get your vegetables as well. Right. And such and so and that's what right. I and that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's a great <laughs> advice. Uh, you know, I uh, thank you so much for you. sharing uh, some of these insights, <laughs> uh, very useful insights with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, until next time, uh, you guys stay safe, stay well, <laughs> and we'll definitely have our friend uh, Jesse again on this show to so share more secrets with us. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.